maira e te iwi, nau mai hoki mai ki te whare kōrero o Tangaroa Pirifare. Ko hau tēnei, ko Jeremy Tātere McLeod. Ko hau tēnei, ko Mātai Smith. E mihi atu nei, kia kouta katoa, ko hoki mai uh, ki tēnei wāhanga e kia nei ko Tangaroa Pirifare. We've got an awesome lineup today. Uh, thanks for joining us with Tangaroa Pirifare. Um, Tangaroa Pirifare literally means a house where the walls can talk. Talk, mm. hear and see. And if you've slept in a meeting house in your lifetime, then you will know that those walls can talk. They sometimes make noises yeah. <coughs> in the middle there of the night. It might be other noises. It could be other noises between the flatulence and the uh, <laughs> coughing and sneezing and crying babies. And, and other and, extracurricular activities. Well, yes, I mean, I'm yet to tick that off my bucket list. But, and also the nannies who think it's great to wake up at 3 a.m. and have a chat. Oh, yes. And then go back for a nap at 5 a.m. We've, we've all got those nannies. But no, he manu hiri anō wā māwe i te nīra. Um, so we just we've got some awesome guests we in do. today's in today's episode. The first guest that we've got, he hails from a place called Rangiahua. Uh, te manu hiri tuarua i te nei rā, uh, no tāua te whiwhi, uh, it is our tuahine, Ms Ruth Smith, taku whanaunga. Speaking of, yeah, Ngāti Kāhumunu wana pānga ki roto o te new haka, o new haka. Kōrua, ne? No, māua, ko māua, māua. Uh, ka mutu uh, te rā tu taha ona, no roto mai o te tai rā whiti tūranga nui ākiwa, te aitanga māhaki. Um, Edu, it's great to have you on because we understand that you come from a place called Rangiahua and uh, and from what we understand that is somewhere by the um, border between uh, Kahumunu and Tūhoi, which we understand there's different versions on where that border is, but to you, where is the border between Kahumunu and Tūhoi? Okay, so um, while we were on the um, uh, settlement train, we were dragged into the Udawera hearings, and there was put by Akaumatu that the boundary between us and Tūhoi was the Huyero Range. So <laughs> if you know the area, you know that's going to be controversial probably. <laughs> Paito Karo? No, <laughs> no, no. Bound to the Huyero Range. We love to go there. Where would Tuhoi say the boundary is? Uh, Fraser Town is what they said in um, the hearings. Mm. Uh, uh, or more close, some one said to where the Marae or Arimafa is. Um, we also understand that it was your answer to Tama Terangi that was reputed for saying, uh, Heo Terangi Kao here. And I know there's lots of different versions, and I know you will have the men that tell us the right version of it, Māte Huru or He Huru Huru, Te Manu Kātou, or Ere or Aha. So can you tell us, what is the correct name? Well, the name I was always taught, and it's over the gate at the Marae, it says Ha Huru Huru Te Manu Kārere. So that's what we're stuck with, that's what we've been taught, and kia koe ra te mea. Ka e eru he pātai tāku, tāna whakapākeatanga mo taua, mo taua whakatau ki rā. Ah, uh, here we go with the Pakapa now, Jai. Ah, uh, and I, um, as um, clouds predict the sky, so must a bird have feathers to fly. We got them now. So, no, I thought we were about to name. Quite a lot of people say, say, Pakapa. Are you a poet? You look even though it's excellent. Now, look, we've got a little quick fight in here just to get us. Just to get us in the mood. In the no way. Edward, Edward, in a mere Kapan, we have to have Kapwe. Then, Pakahua, who are my quick now, Pai Kapwe, me. now the last time this is going to lead into a great discussion with us. Ihoa or Eo? Kurita. Which leads us into our conversation. leading question, Well, actually, before we get to that, um, ko te pā, wa pātai ki ngā manu huri katoa, kia tō tino ki waha. Ko koe ano tō Nice. And how do you You're your own boss. Yeah, I'm going to be responsible for what you do. Don't blame others or anything else. 
Take responsibility for your own action. When was the last time? How the how the time of Pakamutana if Pakamahia agreed their name in Kiwa? Uh yeah, we call it on a kick tahitama to uh uh tahitama to Krachana Ikiana na tere wera ya ya yara. Come out to eh now kiti na my na uring I my had an kitahi re wera. <laughs> Once again, Edu, it's a nice segue into our, our kaupapa, kaupapa matua meki ne, kaupapa matua. Takurongo, e hara koe i te tangata whakapono ki te atua ki ngā atua rāne. Kei te tika tōrongo. Kei te tika tōrongo. Kare, kare au ki te whakapono koe i etahi, te etahi, atua rāne. Kei a koe i pēra ai? Nā te rangahau. You know, that, I, th I think this is a fantastic kaupapa because it, it's quite rare to meet uh, a Māori that is, well, first of all, that is an atheist or that is, that is game enough and brave enough um, to, to, you know, to, to break the status quo. And, and, mm -hmm. and, you, and you would have been dubbed as being a heretic at least at one stage in the Aotearoa culture. You probably will still today. Um, yeah, I have, but I, I, I take that name on as a, uh, a moniker of um, pride. Yeah. Because I, I take pride in not following along like a sheep or one of the flock to use a religious um, kiwa. <laughs> I, I take pride in not being one of the flock to be able to think for myself is, is a huge deal to me. Yeah. So you so you mentioned Deru, Kotiakwe te ranga hawi ngā ehea nei ngā puka puka nei ngā pai pera tapu nei. When did you when did you switch? With what age? At what age were you? So um, I grew up very religious. We had religion all over the place as a kid. But when I went to uh, university, I met up with some friends who first challenged me, and this was a group of the sort of so-called radicals of uh, Victoria University at the time. And um, they said to me, why are we Māori um, bowing down to this God that was brought on our oppressors, on mm. the boat of our oppressors, this God was brought to us. And here we are, Māori Mā, uh, bowing down to it. But didn't we have our own? And that was the beginning. That was the beginning of where I started to think, okay, this is interesting. There's something in this quarter. And then, because I was a student and poor and staying at home a lot, because I didn't have the money to go out partying like I wanted to, I watched, was watching TV one day in my little uh, beach set in Wellington. And uh, there was an interview on TV with a man called Joseph Campbell, who's, um, his whole deal is going around looking at uh, mythology from around the world and finding links. And, um, but and what gave me pause to think was that he said every culture, every religion, every um, group of people around the world have their own origin story. Mm. And there I made the connection. So then is the Bible just the origin story of another tribal people in the Middle East? Or is it something more special than that is, is what it claims to be? And I thought, hang on, us Māori have this origin story. Why is their one right and my one wrong? And so you can only come to one conclusion, one fair conclusion. Either all the stories are right, all the iwi creation stories are right, which obviously can't be true. Um, just one of them is right, which is, again sounds a little disingenuous at least, or they're all wrong. And that's where I got kicked in the guts and went, hang on. I might have to accept something here I don't really want to. And that's that's where it started for me. It's a little bit more than just God's right. I think it, it, it's the whole supernatural um, theory of there being a soul and a modi. And uh, and those are, those are kind of, um, I guess, core principles of the Māori identity today, the belief that there's a wairua, there's a modi. So tell us, how do you manage that? If my standard of proof was that I, I, I needed proof for it, there isn't any for a wairua 
other than the stories we're told. And that sort of, so those sort of supernatural beliefs melted away. It's like my belief in there being a God was at the base and everything above it built on that disappeared with it. And so that's how I've sort of ended up. But how do I do it? I let people do what they do at, at Māori. I have no interest in telling people what to believe. Iru, ka nui, ka nui a māua mihi kia koe i teka. Uh, I tō kaha uh, ki te u ki tāu i whakapono ai. Aha koa ngā ākitanga mai a, a te au i waho. E te whakatake e mai. Ai, ai, mm. ka, ka nui rā taku mihi kia koe e u nei. Kia ora. Ka mutu. Uh, kia tiki nā atu. Uh, te kōrero nāu anō i homa kia māu. Ko koe anō tō rangatira nei. Mm. Makati, kai te hoa eru, a kua kau katoa te wahanga, a kia tātou, engari, kai kua nei māua, i whakamīharo ana, yeah. ngā kōrero kuputa i āko i tēnei rā, a hei whakaaro tanga, kai hei kai mā te heningaro, hei kai mā te heningaro, mm-hmm. mo reira, tēnei māua e mihi ati nei kia ako e eru. E nā kōrero, nā hau maru koe, nā hau maru koe, nā hau maru koe i roto i ngā kōrero te wā. Kia ora eru, hei kona mai. Ai, hei kona mai rā eru. Awai. Wow. Nā ue te rā kōhenu nei. Tino wow nei. You know, I take my hat off to people that dare to break the status quo. Mm. Yes, but let's recap this whakatauti quickly. Hau te rangi ka uhia he huruhuru te manu kārere. So you hear lots of variations out there, but this is straight from the man from Nei Kama Te Rangi. Mm. As clouds bedeck the sky, a bird requires feathers, feathers to, to fly. fly. And, and you can use that in a range of, um, of contexts. I remember Te Okanga Huata said, he was the great Ngāti Kahuna orator, and he said in the 70s, he said that... Um, you know, someone might want you to go to a hui or might want you to go to a, a tangi as a speaker uh, and they're not going to give you any money for petrol, for example, right? right. And he said, uh-huh. you might say to that person, e hoa, he kauhia, he huruhuru te manu kare. So you're saying, you know, can you give me some huruhuru so that my car can re, re, re. And then we have the kiwaha. Ko koe ano tō rangatira. You are your own boss. You are your own designer of your destiny. It's almost like you be your own cross. Well, I can't say you be your own cross. No, I don't think that's appropriate for you. I'm only going to get to that. No. Kia mate. We've got another guest coming on soon. Oh, yes. Well, we can mention a cross. We'll cross to Ruth Smith. Aku wake nei. Aku wake nei. Nga mana ki tanga. And some. Aye, ko Ruth Smith, uh, te tahi uh, mumu reo, mm-hmm. uh, ko hoki ia, uh, no, no tēnei tau tonu, hoki atu ai ia ki, ki roto o ia mātou, ki tūranga, a ki te awhina i e tahi o mātou, uh, o te wahanga ki au, ki a rongo whakāta, kai te taunaki ia ia mātou, me tā mātou nei rauta ki reo. Uh, ko e hoki kei te noho atu ki te pai motu haki o te mātāwai, e tauira i puta i te panekiretanga, uh, a star on the national stage. Ah, te matatini. Yes. A natural, tino tau te wahine nei. Aye. Kwa diri, kwa diri tata wa manu hiri. We're lucky to have Ruthie. Yeah. Aye. O, kai te tuahi nei Ruthie, te nā koe. Te nā korua. Te nā koe te whanaunga. No, mai, ki tanga roa piri whare. E ne hoi anō Ruthie, hei whakamahana noi ho i a uh, yo tato whakao, hei whakakorekore yo tato whakao. Um, kei au te tahi ki emu. Pai ki a koe te ki emu nei. <laughs> Aye. Hey, Kimu, no, no, no. quick fire in there. Kapai. Ko reri? Aye. Ane. Simon Brothers, Judith Collins. Judith Collins. John Key, Billy TK. Billy TK. <laughs> Ahure Matatini. Matatini. Insta, Facebook. Insta. Pork bones, bacon bones. Pork bones. Ki runga, ki raro rāne. Ki raro. Whakaro. <laughs> 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 Tinder grinder. Tinder. Front row, second row. A uh, front row. <laughs> Tangi Wai or Derek? Oh! Birthday Bartai. Birthday Bartai. Flavour or Turanga FM? Turanga FM. Pau, Pau Pau Rani. Pau Pau. Te 
Anyway, anyway, and I'll go for it. Pow, 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 pow. Yeah, they had the pow into what? The pow, pow, good at that. Long, 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 black. Long, black. Pango, raw. Oh, my. Oh, yeah, okay. Kia ora, isn't it? Pow, 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 Kote Ai, ko te tētahi ahara nei, ahara nei, heri te tonu te putu. Tētahi wahi nei? Tētahi wahi nei. I'm actually kind of convinced that Timoti may have created this. I think it is. So Ai. You, you could say, if, if you were to say, tētahi tanata, it, could, it, it has a range of meanings. What could it mean? Ki tihi atu koe ki tētahi, ki tētahi tangata, tētahi, tētahi tangata. What a guy. Ka taia hoki hei mihi nei, so if I was to say, Tētahi reo irirangi ko tūrangi FM. Oh. I, I, I'd be saying that too. Te waiwa mihi. Oh, yes. Oh. I, I can be genuine and sincere when I win a win. E roto i te tahi mai o te reo, ne. Tētahi kapahaka ko waihirere. Mm-hmm. Engari, mena ka kikwe, tētahi kapahaka ko waihirere, ka tahi ka rongo koe i te mihi roto i tērā. But you could say, you could say, everyone, if you're watching, you could use that for a range of things. You could say, tētahi tamaiti, you know, if, you're, if, if you've got a baby who's always having a tantrum or... Mm-hmm. Well, you could say te tahi tamaiti. What else? How else could you use it? If you're if you're at someone else's malai and you see it out of a custom, mm-hmm. as we all do, you know you sort of go, hmm, mm-hmm. you want to do te tahi oh, yeah. <laughs> What an out of a thing, you know? Because we all do that. Eh? We'll go to the malai and we, we pretend that we're being respectful, but in our minds we're thinking, oh my gosh, yeah, what's up with this? Kapai te mopai te raki wahai te fenonga a kati ko huri pia taua o te ratatau ki te tahi faka tauki. How to te no faka tauki? Humility, not whakaiti belittle. No, we're not saying that uh, belittling is, uh, is the. How many uh, Humility, humility is, the, is the home of enlightenment. Te tahi mea pera. So there we go. So the whakatauki from James Te Farehui and Milroy. Um, is that ko te whakaiti, te whare, o, o whakaaro nui. Hey, kawe te ras. And, and kawe te ras. So ta, let's talk about te whare hui just quickly. Ko te whare hui e maharana hau, he korau wa aroha, he mm. korau wa Māori ake nei, kaore i pupuri i ana kare aro tō kare i kukutu i te roi mata ki a taka mērā, huatanga katoa. A te hau nei, uh, koia te tauira o te tāne Māori. Uh, Aia tūra ki tana āhua nana kia, me nā koe i mōhi o ki aia. He, <laughs> he toki ki te whao kupu, he toki ki te rā weke weke kupu. Uh, ko i a te a, e, e roto i ana kōrero katoa, e, e, e reira e huna mai ana e tahi kōrero hei whakakata i te tangata. Uh, ko i ratana punenga, uh, ko i ratana koe ki te rā mo mo mahi, nā reira uh, ko i rā ngā tino mahara, uh, kai ahau mo... Te koro wa nei mo te fare huia. Ka mi te aroha ki aia. Ah, e kai te awa pēna mo o ku mahara uh, ki o. Uh, ko te fare huia, mau mahara nāu, uh, he tohunga ki te whakanene. Mm. Uh, toi, e he ngahau. <laughs> <laughs> Engari, Ruthie, hea ngā kōro te wā. E, e ki ana tō pāpa, hea ngā kōro te wā. Ko ai kai te eke ke i awai, ko ai kai te ture mi ko ai, ko hapu i a tāne ke. <laughs> Kuaikatahi 
Det tager hende andre kære. Det tager hende kære for katak. Let's talk about, let's talk about kapahaka. Um, let's, you know, for those of us who aren't involved in, in kapahaka, for obvious reasons. Um, but um, what about relationships forged, relationships broken through kapahaka? Relationships oh, God. Forged. <laughs> well, you know, kua hua mai e tahi o ngā kapa o te motu i tērā āhuatanga e kōrero rā oh, yeah. koe i tō mātou kapa, ne? Mm. E nui ngā, ngā kapa kua hua mai i tō mātou kapa nā tērā uh, take tonu rā. Uh, e hara right. i te mea kei te ki au i kino katukau, e hara hoki, e hara hoki i te mea kei te ki au e um, kei te kari tonu o kei te pupuri, kei te whakamau tonu, kā au. Um, Ka pera, ne, ka pera. He, i te mutu ngā iho, ko tēnei mea te mahi kapahaka, he mahi whakataitai, nō reira kā tino ki te koe i, uh, te, i ngā āhua tanga motuhenga, i ngā pūmanawa motuhenga o te tangata i, I roto i enei mahi. Very interesting, it's very interesting. <laughs> Mena, he pai ki ako i te mātakitaki tangata, ne. It's a real, I think that, um, that psychologists would have a field day, field day. When, <laughs> you know, in studying the human condition when they look at kapahaka as the context. It would, I reckon it would be absolutely fascinating. <laughs> Uh, full of drama. Full of drama. I mean, she briefly touched on it, but yeah, nice drama. So the days of our lives. I just, I couldn't do it. I, I, I admire those who have the passion and commitment to cover and all the sacrifices. Mm. Weekend after weekend, yeah. fundraising. Mm. Oh, no. <laughs> but that was great. <laughs> and yeah, that's the kiwaha. So her kiwaha, that tefahi is a great um, kiwaha that can be used in a range of contexts. And it's really simple. You can use it on anything. Tefahi um, wahine. You know, you might say it about your, your cousin who's always late or doesn't answer your, your, your calls. Mm. Or you, you know, you've seen the PMs, but you haven't replied. You say, te tahi tanata, te tahi wahine. What, it can mean what a piece of work. It can yeah. mean they're a cool guy, what an yeah. awesome lady. Mm. Um, lots of, lots of meanings. Yeah. Same pai tērā. And the whakatauki from James Parehuia Nōroi. Oh. Ko te whakaiti. Te whare o whakarunui. So, humility is the house of enlightenment. Eki, eki. Mm. What, what a nice sentiment to... Um, to our papa. Mm. It was great. It was a great quarter of you. Thank you, Ruth. Uh, well, I guess we better sign off for now. We will. Aki kune, for kaini hia, to kite kite koreo. Tēnā koe te hono mai ne kia tangaroa piripare i tēnei rā. Me ngā kaupapa katoa, what a, what a great episode. We went from atheism to the dramas of Kabaka. Amongst a whole myriad of other things. So, no māo te whiwhi i tū hono mai ko te ki tangaroa piripare. Hei kona mai, i roto i a māo nei mihi. Okay.